Hello friends, welcome. Friends, we all eagerly wait for the telecom subscription data, which is released by TRI every month. So on 29 July 2025, TRI released the subscription data of 30th June 2025. Now, friends, as I have been following this report for such a long period of time, I can tell you that this report has become so complex that if you look at this report and try to analyze and make some conclusion by looking at this report, you will be totally wrong. Because this report cannot be read in a conventional way. If you look at the report, what this report says, it gives you a summary first. And this summary itself, the definition of wireless and wireline in this summary is different from the definition of wireline and wireless, actually the wireless part, not the wireline, the wireless part which is given in this, in this breakup, annexure 2. So when you look at this definition itself, the numbers won't match. So go here and if you try to add the wireless number and see total telephone subscriber uh, 1170.88 for the month of June 2025 and go to annexure, annexure 2. And you see the number, this number comes out to be June 1163. It does not match. So this table actually is a table which does not include, include FWA. Because FWA, the TRA has come out with a separate data sheet, which is an extra 5. So when you add this number, 7.3 million on this number, which is given in the annexure, Two, which is 1.1163 uh, 1, 1, million, you get this number. You see, you get this number. This is the number, wireless, 1170.88. 1, 1, now, both are being defined as wireless. I do not know why. So this is so confusing, friends, that you will bang your head and you will not be able to make any difference. This is one level of complexity. The second level of complexity is that in this table, which I showed you down below, this one, wireless, here Bharti Airtel definition of subscriber is different from the definition of Vodafone Idea, Reliance Geo. BSNL, I, even, I don't even know what the definition is. Okay. What is the difference? Bharti Airtel does not include M2M, whereas Vodafone Idea and Reliance Geo includes M2M. Okay, so this is the major difference. So Bharti Airtel's number, you cannot compare with Vodafone Idea and Reliance Geo because <laughs> Bharti Airtel does not include M2M. Okay, so this is a very, very difficult situation to compare. So whenever you read the subscriber number, you know, that Bharti has gained so many subscribers, the incremental subscriber, it will not give you the accurate picture because the M2M subscribers are reported by TRAI in a separate table. You see here, they could look at this. There is another table. So why do all this confusion? I do not know, understand. You know, the M2M is separate. Bharti is, is, number is without M2M. Board of an idea and Reliance Geo number inclusive of M2M. And then, and then there is another difference which I have been telling you from the very beginning that whatever number that you see here for Bharti, it, it's, it includes dummy subscriber. So there is a definition that, uh, which I was reading in analyst report and he was saying that 90 day period if a subscriber is inactive that also is included into this in this we do not know what vodafone idea and reliance geo does maybe they are also doing the same thing now in order to create some parity between the operators bharti airtel vodafone idea reliance geo and bsnl to see so that we can actually come out with some kind of harmonized way to see how much subscriber each and every every operator has added. So again, can compare with them. I have created this Excel sheet. This Excel sheet. So in this Excel sheet, here is date. Here is the operator. Here is the M2M data. Here is the FWA data. Here is the wireless subscriber data, wireline subscriber data. Then I've added FWA plus wireline. And I have created another column, which is H which says wireless net mi minus of M2M. So for Bharti, if you see, look at Bharti, you will see that for Bharti, these numbers are same for Bharti because Bharti's number does not include M2M. But whereas in case of Reliance Geo, if you see, 
If you see 477, this number is 462.74 because what I've done, I've subtracted this from M to M. Similarly, Vodafone ID, I've done, done the same thing. Now, this table is very difficult to analyze unless you put it in a graph or in a, a dashboard. So, this is the dashboard. So, I'll tell you, this dashboard has the first dashboard is wireless net of M to M. Means, this is the table which is giving you the subscriber numbers of Reliance Geo without M2M. Bharti, anyway, they don't have M2M. BI, without M2M. BSNL, M2M, I do not know whether what they do. I am actually assuming that this is, I subtracted M2M for BSNL. I assume that BSNL report their subscriber with M2M. Okay. Now, if that is the situation, then you can see that in the month of June, subscribers of Reliance Geo without M2M is 462.7. Bharti is 391. VI is 187.2. BSNL is 87 without M2M. Okay, so note this number, these numbers. Now, these are actually absolute numbers. Now, if I tell you incremental numbers, then you will see Reliance Geo actually added 1.16 million wireless subscribers. Right, Wireline will discuss later. Bharti has added 0.76 million and Vodafone idea has lost how much? Almost 0.5 million and BSNL has lost 0.32 million. So you can pause the video and have a look at it. Now you'll see that these incremental changes of subscriber number, addition and deletion of subscriber number do not match with the TRAI's report when you go to this table and put this table in a dashboard. This is my in my website, you see? Operator-wise subscriber data in Indian Telecom. So what I have done is, I have taken market absolute, right? And I've taken all the categories. So what I'm going to choose, I'm going to choose wireless. So when I choose wireless and I choose market increment, then you'll see Reliance Geo is added how much? 1.91 million subscriber. But if you subtract M to M and then you just look at the number, the wireless number, this number is 1.16 million. Similarly, in May, it was 1.91 million. Now you look at what the number was, 2.7 million here. So this number, which you see here, which is as per the TRA report, these numbers are actually inclusive of M to M. Therefore, they are being seen as higher numbers, right? For Bharti, it does not matter because they don't include M2M. So you can read Bharti's annexure to table as it is without M2M, right? Vodafone idea also, if you see the numbers, it looks that Vodafone idea has only lost 0.22 million subscriber. Actually, Vodafone idea has lost how much? 0.5 million because I have subtracted M2M numbers from, from Vodafone idea. BSNL, they have lost 0.32 million without M2M. But if you look here, you see 0.31 million. So there's M2 numbers are very less, so it doesn't really matter. So can you see these numbers now? I don't have to go into, you know, harping this again and again, repeating this just to summarize. And before I go to wildline, all that you are seeing here, these are the total numbers. You don't worry about that. These are the total wireless numbers. These numbers, what I show for Reliance Geo is without M2, is inclusive of M2M in the TRI dashboard, which I have captured here, right? And in my dashboard where harmonized everybody, you can see that these numbers are all without M2M. And therefore, you can pause the video and see month by month how the wireless numbers growth has happened if you subtract the M because M2M subscriber does not add much revenue. So therefore, this is the net net that you should be looking at from June because I don't have the M2M numbers uh, before that. Therefore, I'm not able to do it. So from June 2024 till Ju to June 2025 for 12 months, these numbers are right in front of you. These are actual harmonized numbers. But the problem here is that these numbers are not as per what they have reported, reported in the stock market because here... For Bharti 90 day, inactive subscribers are also included. Similarly, Vodafone might be also doing the same thing, right? So if I go to absolute numbers, if you see, 
The absolute numbers are this. Just pause the video and have a look at it. This is the number all without M to M. Okay, that's all. Now, let's go to the war line part of the dashboard. Now, the war line part of the dashboard is here. And now, war line class is pretty confusing. <laughs> and it is so confusing also compared to wireless because in this month, you will find Tata Tele has added 10.9 million war line sub. And TRAI in their opening statement has given a note here. Read this note, but I have not included. I have not focused on it because I don't even care what the Tata Tele is doing. Because how can there be a, such a big... Because uh, where they're sleeping, I do not know what, what they do. Suddenly, they have jumped their wildline subscribers from 2 million. Look at the tower daily. 2.4 million to 10. almost 11 million. I don't care because I am going to focus only on Reliance Geo, uh, Bharti, and uh, Vodafone Idea, and BSNL. So let's look at the four operators. Now, if you look at the four operators... Here also, friends, if you look at the TRI dashboard, there have been a lot of confusion in the TRI dashboard. Because if I go to world line and I take the absolute number, let me just take the absolute number first, market absolute, you will find that for Reliance Geo, as I have been repeating earlier also, for Reliance Geo, the number was going higher, 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 and suddenly it dipped. And then it has started increasing again. Why? Because they were including FWA here. They, they, dis, they removed FWA and then it again started increasing. Now, there is one more glitch here, <laughs> which is very interesting. What they have done in case of wildline is, but no, I think that's not a problem because here the, uh, the, uh, the UBR subscriber numbers have also been included here. Because these are, these are, what, what are these numbers? These are wildline subscribers where they don't have FWA. So try to understand this. These numbers, initially, these numbers had both UBR FWA as well as for, for 5G FWA. Now, when it went down, what they did was they took the 5G FWA out and the UBR FWA continued here. So you do understand? Wildline does not include 5G FWA, wireless also does not include 5G FWA, but this includes what? UBR. So whatever number that you are seeing here, 14.9, it includes UBR, but it does not include 5G FWA. Do you understand the confusion that TRA has created? So what TRA does, I do not know, you know, people, they throw a uh, you know, report in front of the people there are so many nuances to get, you know, to understand and digest. Now, friends, after having waited for such a long period of time for Bharti to also correct their FWA numbers and take it out from their wildline because Reliance did, right? 3G FWA looks to me that Bharti never had FWA numbers here and they are reporting FWA separately, right? Which is in that annex, the last annex of this table. If they were doing that, then in that particular case, the Bharti don't have to pull down their subscriber numbers as Reliance did when they took the FWA. But I find this a little strange because how can it be? Because TRAI didn't have this table earlier, this FWA table. This was only starting from January. So where Bharti was reporting FWA? Again, I do not know the answer to this question. I have been asking, asking, asking. Nobody was, has, re, has responded to me uh, to the answer of this question. So, friends, what I am going to do is I am going to forget about that disc discrepancy because that time FWA numbers of Bharti was very, very less. Doesn't matter. But let's look at the total subscri wireline subscriber now. FWA plus wireline for Reliance Geo, Bharti, Vodafone Idea, and BSL MTNL, which I have captured in this column. FWA plus Wireline here. You see? What is that? FWA? FWA is here. Wireline is here. Right? FWA is separate. So this table gives you the total uh, absolute uh, numbers. So you see the Reliance Geo started from May 2024, and now it is actually more than 21.04 million. Bharti was at 9.1, now it is at 12.09 million, right? 
of the total number, including plus FWA. VI actually hasn't done anything. It has actually gone down. BSNL, strangely, I don't know what happened. It was at 6.0 going down and suddenly it went up and now it is going down. I do not know from where this spike has come. So BSNL numbers have been so non-transparent, friends. I do not understand how they declare profit. When minister says that BSNL has been profit, but they don't answer all these discrepancies. There are so many data discrepancies. I can do a, a you know, a, a complete video on listing out all the BSNL's data discrepancy. So this is the situation, right? As far as increments, let's look at increments. Now, from an increment point of view, if you see last year was adding 0 0.44, 0 0.48, then 0 0.69, and then it remained on point, then it went down. And suddenly in April, it added 0 0.91. And then in May, almost 1 million. And now in this month, this includes UBR, by the way, 0.7 million. Whereas Bharti, there was a spike here. And then it kind of is roughly within uh, 250K, which is around, you know, 280 or 250K. Uh, Vodafone does not matter. And, and I told you BSNL was there as a certain spike. I do not know what is the reason. Now, if you look at the FWA number separately, FWA numbers, and let's see how the FWA, uh, you know, performance has been. For that, friends, I actually have a separate uh, dashboard. Here you will see that as far as FWA is concerned, the percentage of the total market share, right? Or only for 5G FWA. I'm not talking about UBR. Bharti has now a 22.91% market share. Reliance Geo has got 77.81. This does not include UBR. Now, if you look at FWA absolute, it is 7.8 million. And you go here and you can check here 7.8 million here for the month of June, right? So this is 7.8 million. Where is it? Yeah, this is the 7.8 million. Earlier it was 7.39 million because here the UBR numbers were extracted out because Reliance Geo 6.1 million and then suddenly it fell to a 5.8 million because the UBR numbers were extracted out. Now, Bharti have been consistently adding how much? If you go to incremental, you'll see Bharti has been adding 0 0.16, 0 0.16, 0 0.16, 0 0.18. Now it is 0 0.12. Reliance Geo for 5G FWA, 0 0.39, 0 0.33, 0 0.57, minus 0 0.29 because the UBR numbers went down 0 0.25. So it is, I believe that Reliance Geo is doing roughly around 250K. Bharti is doing around 200k FWA. So friends, that's all in this video. So to summarize this video, again, let me go to this. This opening sheet, right? Where you have got the wireless subscribers. This includes FWA. Sorry, friends. Let me just take my proper. This includes FWA. Wireline is fine. But there is a huge jump in wireline because the Tata communication thing, uh, Tata Tele, which I showed you. And then if you go down below, right, and you just uh, look at the uh, the sheet, the annexure, annexure uh, one, wireline subscriber, I have already given you the whole story of wireline subscriber. Earlier, they were including 5G FWA, then they only included UBR, Reliance only included UBR, and 5G FWA was taken out. And have been they have been reporting this year, here in this particular sheet. And the wireless part, Bharti includes, Bharti includes, Bharti does not include um, M2M, Reliance Geo, and Vodafone Idea includes M2M. Right. So that's all, friends. In this video, I hope that you like this video. Uh, hope that things are clear. Take this as a reference video. Whenever you are confused, just go through this video. You will be able to read all future report unless and until TRI makes another big change which they do it in a subtle manner uh, without telling everybody it creates such a big confusion right anyway friends thanks for listening till the end i'll come back with a new video and a new topic next time thank you much very much for listening till the end